Okay, I just bought uh, LabVIEW 2009 Student Edition on Amazon.com. I think it was uh, $78. And it comes with the software. So, uh, I wanted to figure out if I can adapt it to uh, an Arduino board so that I could uh, read values and uh, send commands uh, via the LabVIEW um, interface. So this is the Robotics++ Plus Plus platform that I created to do experiments on. And you can see here, I was able to uh, do that. I was able to connect uh, the Arduino robot to LabVIEW. And one of the, 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 the ways that I did that was using this middleware part here. And uh, basically, it comes with uh, the Arduino software already. Uh, the example of, um, of this middleware part. And it's called Fermata. And that's Fermata. And then I used a simple uh, digital uh, example that is in here. It's Fermata, simple digital Fermata software. And basically what that does is uh, it establishes all the serial communication between uh, the, um, the Arduino and the serial port so that it accepts uh, commands via the serial port or it can output uh, readings also like sensor readings and things like that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to send it uh, serial commands uh, via LabVIEW so that I could play a sound for example or a series of sounds. Uh, so all I did was I just added this part over here and uh, basically uh, I created some cases where if I put uh, serial character zero, it would play the tones that you see down here. Okay, or if I put one, it'll play this tones or two. So I basically added three different cases uh, depending on what kind of sounds I wanted to hear. So I uploaded that to the, uh, to the little robot. So the robot now is ready to receive commands serially via the USB port. So now we come here to LabVIEW, and there's a sample VI that allows you to do uh, serial and uh, serial read and write, okay, via the COM port. And so basically, I just um, uh, created the um, the communication between the two, and now I'm going to send commands serially via the COM port to the Arduino board. Uh, via the USB port. So if I put a string here, remember I got the cases 0, 1, and 2. If I select uh, case number 2 here, or case 0, and I write via the serial port to it, okay, I get this kind of sound. Okay. So now let's try the next uh, the next one. Let's, what if I type in here 1? What does that sound like? Okay, and then the next one here, two, case number two. This is what case number two sounds like. Okay, so it's basically playing those cases, zero, one, and two. Okay, and that's how you do it. Pretty easy, actually. Thank you.